Hi, Brian. Can you tell us a bit about your career in supply chain? Sure. Um, well, I, I, my, my career has basically been from a consulting point of view and had my career at, at IBM and lived in the consulting world of IBM for all of it and touched different parts of supply chain, yeah. uh, procurement and inventory management, did a bunch of ERP for many years, so uh, sort of the classic ERP projects like SAP from a material management point of view and inventory, warehouse management and whatnot and procurement and led a bunch of programs like that and then transitioned into some other types of strategic sourcing, procurement sorts of things but then eventually got into some of the more advanced analytics driven scenarios within supply chain around advanced planning and solutions that kind of leverage analytics and, and what we talked about today which is the Internet of Things as it relates to supply chain. So what is the Internet of Things? It's a really fun era of sort of new technology and emerging technology that's all about this hyper-connectivity of devices, of equipment, of everything we kind of see, touch, feel every day and that enterprises rely on to run their operations. It's this connectivity, the access to new sources of rich information that come together to give us new levels of insight and potentially new business models and new revenue sources around what you can do with, with analytics without new information. It can drive new value for organizations or at a personal level, you know, how it might affect our personal life. So it's, it's that hyper-connectivity of stuff all around us and things all around us and the value that we can get out of that. Speaking of hyper-connectivity, can you give us an example of one of these scenarios where we utilize the Internet of Things? If I give an enterprise example, probably the classic use case is around the area of maintenance. So lots of asset-intensive industries have uh, big infrastructure, big assets that they rely on to run their operation. And so all of these assets, if you imagine them all being connected with some level of uh, visibility and information about uh, how they're operating, if they're operating, what the risk is of performance, tuning that so that supply chains can be run more effectively and efficiently with a more predictive model rather than a reactive model. I would say that's probably the classic use case, so lots of companies are exploring that as an example. And for professionals and students, what advice can you give to them when they approach the industry thinking about the Internet of Things? I would say become confident, familiar with data and understand sort of the ability to interact with data, analyze data, do analytics with data, consume data, and just be very comfortable with that. Because I think from a supply chain point of view, it's all about what we can do with information and to give us that much more visibility or that much more predictability to what we want to do. And that all comes from understanding data.